we saw like a black bear. Yeah, it was actually really close to this area that we're picnicking right now, but it's been an hour or so, so we think it's okay. Yeah. We were really lucky. Welcome to Yellowstone National Park. <laughs> Day three, sadly our last day in Yellowstone National Park. We started from the west entrance and went straight to Lamar Valley to catch all the wildlife in the morning. After, we headed to Mammoth Hot Springs, enjoyed all the views, and then ended our day in Norris Geyser Basin. This is the kind of wildlife that you can see in Lamar Valley. We're picnicking in Lamar Valley with some coffee. Mm -hmm. um, we came really early to come see the animals. It was really nice. Yeah, we saw like a black bear yeah it was actually really close to this area that we're picnicking right now but it's been an hour or so so we think it's okay a lot of people stopped to see the bear because it's really not normal to see it we yeah. were really lucky yeah it was really close to the road but at the same time it was so far for us to capture with our cameras yeah also like you can see a lot of buffaloes or bisons in the road Lamar Valley is such a special place. We felt like we were on a little safari with all the animals. We were so grateful we were able to see them and respect their beauty from afar. I definitely recommend coming in the morning or maybe in the evening, like dusk and dawn, because mm -hmm. one, there's less people, so less crowding into the animals are going to be more active to spend at least an hour here driving or just having a picnic like us and looking at the wildlife i would recommend also uh, to bring a really good zooming camera yeah like some good equipment if you mm -hmm. have like a nice camera or binoculars we didn't really have all of that and we were kind of like oh yeah. this is kind of hard Springs. It's a really nice area, like, and it's huge. Uh, a lot of rock formations that were formed by the hot springs, and you can see, like, it's really beautiful. All the colors and different textures that it makes. I am really impressed about it. Also, if you're coming here, try to make sure that you're prepared because there's a lot of like going up. You have to climb the mountain. are always changing so the path is always changing and it makes it kind of confusing when you look at the map here because it doesn't really like flow <laughs> yeah you have to be really careful because you can get lost <laughs> yeah and they said that the so it's always changing so it can always be different like you can come back later and everything will be a different path yeah 
Yeah, there are new like terraces all the time, and other other terraces are like dying, kind of. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you say that, but they are like over now. Finally, something that surprised us is Norris Geyser Basin. <laughs> we weren't even really sure we weren't really going to stop and it's literally it's beautiful. It's like a surprise, yeah, it's huge. There's a lot of uh, pools and geysers and fu fumaroles and definitely you should come here, yeah. Mm -hmm. If it's possible, you should come here in the morning and you will evade crowds. Finally, we came upon Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser. At the time we were in Yellowstone, it erupted only nine days before we were there. We saw signs from the parking lot telling us how dangerous it was to park there and that when Steamboat erupts, it can damage cars. That's crazy. <laughs> I guess in a way we were lucky it didn't erupt while we were there, but also I am sure it will be quite the view. So we wanted to talk about a little bit about like Yellowstone itself. Um, before like coming to Yellowstone, like I as a child, like I grew up knowing about it, but didn't realize that it's like a mega volcano. <laughs> yeah, it's super huge. Um, that's why you can see a lot of geysers everywhere, mm -hmm. and all the pools and the fumaroles. Uh, so it's amazing to see that. Yeah. yeah, and it's something I, like I said, I knew about as a kid, but I didn't really know until I was here, and I always wanted to come, but I didn't really know that much about it, and just, like, being here is so beautiful, <laughs> and it's just kind of funny, like, I feel like I should know more, but Christian has taught me so much. Like, I mean, I, I know about Yellowstone, but I, I've never seen, like videos or pictures that mm -hmm. could show how it really is so we try yeah. to transfer that through these videos yeah i hope that it helps but at the same time it's just not the same in videos or pictures as it is in person yeah. you have to live it in person for sure yeah um, i am amazed i am impressed I didn't expect it to be like this, it's something out of this world, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for me it reminds me of like something Jurassic or something old, like I imagine dinosaurs walking around, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we realized too, we were reading a sign and it was saying like before one of the trails that we were going on, there's a lot of signs of information around mm -hmm. and it was saying that Yellowstone is the world's first na national 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 Park, like the first the world's first. Mm -hmm. I think it was 1872. We kind of need to check a little bit, but I just thought like that's beautiful and yeah. how they've been able to preserve it for so long. Like it's so special. It's really preserved. Like you can tell because there's no like towns inside of Yellowstone or 
Just like, small things. Just small things like like village, like they call them like little villages with like general stores and things like that. But it's really small. It's not like a big city inside of it, like uh, the typical tourist city, you know. Yeah, they're uh -huh. really trying to preserve it, and it's just something really special. Mm -hmm, yeah, it's really good with and the animals too. Like people really respect the speed limits here. Yeah, we've just really been enjoying it, so we definitely recommend to come and see for yourself. Yeah. Good morning from Grand Teton. Yeah. <laughs> Headed on a hike to Delta Lake in Grand Teton. 